Hey, so we've got a bit of a soiree going on tonight. Well, I say a soiree. Lauren's mum and a friend Colette are coming over for some drinks. So we're going to class that as a... And party food. And party food. So we're going to class that as a soiree. Sorry, a soiree. Um, but first off, we got to do some actual tidying. We did some cursory tidying the other day. Like we tidied up the bulk of the mess, like the worst bits. But now we need to like fine tune the mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole different tidying when you've got people coming over. <laughs> Yeah, like the first set of tidying was just because it was it was peeing me right off. It was doing my head in. This is tidying because we have to. <laughs> this is tidying because we need to present our house as something to be desired. Also, ignore this. This is just how I get my hair to go wavy and I haven't took it out yet because there's no point in doing it whilst I'm tidying. I just wake up like this. Let's get tidying. Okay, so Lauren sits there. I sit here. This is what we've currently got sat in between us at the minute. Let's explore. So, we've got some grapes, we've got the uh, the bag for the camera, for some reason, we've got a PlayStation 4 handset, we've got a cat's laser pen, we've got uh, the Christmas magazine, which we don't even really look at, so I don't know why it's there, we've got a big old bag of Milky Bar buttons, they're wonderful, we've got what's left of a chocolate orange. Lauren, you opened this like yesterday. <laughs> Don't judge. Good Christ. Uh, then Lauren's little coffee cup type thing. That all needs to go. Lauren, what's all the banging going on in here? I'm trying to move the cat's litter tray. Now, I'm always really conscious when we've got people over about the cat's litter tray. I mean, I'm going to empty it now, but the house smells of cat. <laughs> um, so like all the candles are gonna have to get lit and stuff and especially like when it's people that don't own pets as well I'm even more conscious It's a worry that they can smell it Look at that, that's much more presentable now We've got some cushions We've got a cat, we've not got anything here ah, My job here's done You could eat your dinner off of this floor. Can't get up. So anyone that's got pets, pets with hair, will know the anguish of having pet hair all over the place. It's the same with our cats. They love to sit right here on that chair. But the thing is, that chair gathers so much like hair and stuff like that all over it. So because we've got people coming over, I've got to clean it and try and get off as much hair as I can. And I've got a pro tip for how to do it. Let me show you. All you need is a rubber glove. It has got five fingers, it's just one's gone inside. It's like making a weird shape. Then you put it on your hand like this. Although I will say I've put it on the wrong hand and it's too small for me. But it really doesn't matter. Because what you've got to do is you've got to stroke it like that. You've got to press quite hard. Stroke it, like that, you see? And it's pulling up a load of hair. Yeah, that's how you do it, it's all about the friction. Said the vicar to the choir boy. Actually, there wasn't too much hair. This, this, this much hair. Which, it does seem like quite a lot, but I did do it last week. So I got off a lot of hair then. But this is just like a week's worth of hair. Just from cats like sitting on it. Or sitting near it. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, it wasn't even last week. Lauren's telling you from it the was kitchen. Like Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was like, wow, that was less than a week ago. Crazy. Anyway, rubber glove, hair. That's how you do it. The alternative is to shave the cats, but you can't really do that. So, rubber glove it is. So what's happening now is, last year when we hosted, we had a table because this was pre-kitchen makeover. Yep. So we just used to stick a tablecloth on it. But now we have the breakfast bar. Obviously we can't really just go putting hot things on the handmade breakfast bar. So now we're having to cut up the tablecloth. It's going to look a mess, but at least it's going to protect the table. So it's this not is going to look a mess. This I'll is just it perfect. Yeah, but it's still just like a plastic 
folded up tablecloth. It's not a glamorous tablecloth. 39 centimetres from back to front. I've, I've drawn the, measured the points, drawn the line, now I'm cutting it. So if it goes wrong, then it's your fault. It's really not. So I cut it. The thing is, it doesn't really matter if it goes right from this wall over here. Right to this wall over here. Well, no, because it's an eight foot table and we haven't got eight foot of food, so. so. As long as the majority is covered that way, that's all right. So, it's all about the girth, not the length. Oh, God. Okay? So, we need a shoulder. Well, I think we've just mat. got today's title Shoulder the Table Mat. I mean, I've, I've got no words. It's the right size, it just needs flattening a little bit. In fact, it's not a bad length. It's burning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's that's not not a bad fit, I mean, it's not is it? Stop complaining. Let's this try is... and make it look better. I mean, it doesn't help that it's been folded up. Oh, there you go. You can't even <laughs> see the folds now. This needs flattening somehow. How do you flatten these? Let us know in the comments. It's going to be too late, but too let us late, know. But... There we go. We've got some mats on now. And then when you've got food on top of it, unlike plates and stuff, it's not going to look half as bad. It looks a bit more festive now. Yeah. So, all you got to do next is cook the food here. Yeah, no big rush for that though, it's fine. Yeah, no, but we'll show you that in another vlog. Tomorrow's vlog. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to do separate vlogs. Yeah, we're doing two vlogs of the same day. Yeah. Because, little secret, we didn't vlog yesterday. <laughs> It's really confusing this whole vlogging over Christmas period thingy because like you lose track of days like I record on one day and that's not for that day's vlog and I record like the morning that I'm uploading it's really confusing I just can't wait to go back to like the normal time of the year and then you don't know what day it is anyway so <laughs> I just want to go back to the normal time of the year when I know that I record on like I think you record on Wednesday and it goes on Thursday that's the dream like I've been doing some vlog stuff this morning and I had to go and get my diary because mm. I was like trying to think in my head like I literally just needed to jiggle the dates around for a couple of posts and I just couldn't visualize it in my head I had to go and get my diary and like cross things out what and have it it today? In my, it's Sunday today it doesn't feel like a Sunday because we've got people coming over but madness <laughs> anyway we're gonna go complete tidying although there's not much to do there's yeah. a few things to do but um and we'll be back tomorrow Oh, I'm yeah. also putting these on the wine that I bought because you've just got to have not you? That'll make it look more festive. True that. <laughs> and with that being said, we're going to get going. So we'll see you guys. Next time.